Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did color correction, also called color grading, for Swifty's Legends of the Arena. So in this video, Mercator and Hotted go head to head and duel to the death. So Mercator and Hotted gave me raw fraps footage at high resolution 60 frames per second. In the first video, I'm going to show you color correction, also known as color grading. I'll show you exactly how I do it. Here's what the footage looks like. The orange color is hotted. I gave it orange because he's a druid. That'll help me keep track of his footage. And I gave Mercator yellow, which matches the robe. So the first top three layers are hotted. I'm going to find a spot on this footage so we can start the color grading. Now, I want to apply some effects. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use an adjustment layer. Go up to layer. Under the new tab, select adjustment layer. Every effect I apply on the adjustment layer is going to affect all of the layers below it. I just spread the adjustment layer out to match all this footage. And I'm going to apply the first effect. I go to effect, Blur and Sharpen, and I select Unsharp Mask. This is going to sharpen the image and make it look really clear. I always apply an Unsharp Mask to my footage. It works really well. Give it a try. So the first effect is Unsharp Mask. It really brings out the edges, especially the text. All the fine details. I set the amount to 100, the radius to 1, and I zoom in to see how it looks. It looks pretty good. Let's go with that. I can toggle on and off the top layer. The Mercator's footage is right below. The second effect I'm going to use is Curves. Go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. This effect is really important. The power to adjust the highlights and the shadows. You can try an S-curve, an inverted S-curve. I drag both uh, the top and the bottom of the curve to the left to brighten it up a little bit and then I add an additional point down at the bottom, which is to darken the shadows slightly. This is going to enhance the contrast. Just play with it a little bit, see what setting works. The next thing I'm going to do is add some color. And for this, I'm going to use the photo filter. So go to effect, color correction, and photo filter. Select photo filter. All right, in this example, I'm going to add a little green. This arena is a little bit dark. There's a lot of orange and green in this scene. So I'm going to add a little bit of green color to it. Play around with the different colors. See what looks best for that arena. So let's take a look at another example. I'm going to do the same thing. The first thing I do is go to Effect, Blur Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Here I set the Unsharp Mask to 100. Then I go to Effect, Color Correction, and select curves. Play with the curves a little bit and try to get the best looking scene. Here I give it a little bit of an S curve. Uh, an S curve is basically two points, one at the top and bottom, and it looks like an S. This adds a lot of contrast, but in this case there's already a lot of contrast, so I don't want to add any more. I'm going to bring up the bottom point just a little bit to brighten the whole scene. I think with WoW footage, you can almost always brighten it a little bit and it looks good. And then I add a third point at the very bottom just to darken the shadows. I just use a little bit of curves because I don't want it to look too crazy. I just want to enhance. I just want to enhance it slightly. Finally, the third effect I do is color correction, photo filter. In this example, I give it a warm look by choosing yellow or a warming filter, but you can go through these and select the color that you think looks best. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. This is just part one. I'm going to do more tutorials about how I edit these videos, and I want to show you guys how to increase the quality of your game videos for YouTube. Let me know what you think, guys, and let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. Good luck and have fun.